confuse between the SPM, amplifier and standalone DSP? Ha, jangan risau. Hari ini saya akan explain straight to the point so you know which one is suitable for your car audio upgrade. First, the basic amplifier. If you feel like your current audio system is weak, they ambil the weak signal from your head unit and make it more powerful to your car speakers. Think of it like an energy booster. More power equals louder, clearer sound. But it doesn't fix sound quality issues such as EQ and timing. It makes use of what already there, but amplifies it. Earlier we mentioned amplifier is like an energy booster, but this one is quite similar like a brain. Dia tak kasih power tau, but it shapes the sound. With the SP, you can adjust EQ, time align, balance heights, mids and lows. But this only tunes. The SP might need more power to get the full experience. Bass could still be weak. FYI, kami dah cover this topic in depth in our previous video. Don't forget to check out guys. Amplifier and DSP combined. And this is what you get. This one device bring power and tuning together. This is the most popular amongst plug and play community in Malaysia sebab senang. Tak payah nak pasang banyak barang. Model such as Masui M6 or Audison Forza series are good examples. You can basically power your speakers, tune your audio system using laptop or an app. Perfect. If you want to save space, lagi-lagi kalau kereta korang limited boot space. So which one is right for you? Amplifier only if you want louder sound and on a budget. Standalone DSP if you already have a good power and one tuning control. The SPM for the best all-in-one. Clean install, perfect for plug and play upgrades. Like I said in the first video, the SP will be the best first step if you don't want to spend extra buck on the SPM. If you find this video very informative and helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do drop your comment down below. I'm Yasro from the Plug and Play guys. See you in the next one. Bye.